This is Proverbs chapter 9 from the Christian Standard Bible. And it starts with wisdom versus foolishness. Uh, chapter 9. Wisdom has built her house. She has carved out her seven pillars. She has prepared her meat. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her female servants. She calls out from the highest points of the city. Whoever is inexperienced, enter here. To the one who lacks sense, she says, Come, eat my bread and drink the wine I have mixed. Leave inexperienced. Sorry, guys. Leave inexperience behind, and you will live. Pursue the way of understanding. The one who corrects a mocker will bring abuse on himself. The one who rebukes the wicked will get hurt. Okay, and then turning the page, it says, Don't rebuke a mocker, or he will hate you. Rebuke the wise, and he will love you. Instruct the wise, and he will be wiser still. Teach the righteous, and he will learn more. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me, your, for by me, where are we? Sorry. So for by me, your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, you are wise for your own benefit. If you mock, you alone will bear the consequences. Folly is a rowdy woman. She is gullible and knows nothing. She sits by the doorway of her house on a seat at the highest point of the city, calling to those who pass by, who go straight ahead on their paths. Whoever is inexperienced, enter here. To the one who lacks sense, she says, stolen water is sweet. And bread eaten secretly is tasty, but he doesn't know that the departed spirits are there, that her guests are in the depths of Sheol. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proverbs 9, verses 1 through 18. So um, my hope and my prayer for you is that um, you would look right here at Proverbs 9, verse 10. And here's what it says. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So that's the scripture. I want you to observe what it says. Okay, what do you notice in verse 10? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So if you want wisdom, what does it start with? And um, how does understanding defined as Okay, so um, you can see the scripture, it says the wisdom is the um, beginning of wisdom. It starts with the fear of the Lord. So fear means, um, it doesn't mean to be afraid of the Lord. Like, oh my God, I'm so afraid. I'm scared. Fear is like to honor and to respect, right? And to worship and to praise. So the fear of the Lord, so if you... Like if you were to think of it as honoring the Lord, praising the Lord, respecting the Lord, that's the beginning of wisdom. Okay, so um, we all need wisdom to live, to make right choices, because, um, yeah. Okay, and then it says the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So having understanding um, and knowledge of the Holy One. So we can have knowledge of the Holy One through many different ways, um, right? <clears throat> um, reading the Bible, talking with other Christians, going to Bible studies, um, making sure that whatever you hear, you um, are learning, you test it with the Word of God, make sure that it's in the Word of God and that